All right, people, welcome to my virtual apartment, which I've turned into a memory palace for today. So, as you may see, around me I have gathered several objects in the virtual apartment. And these, um, like um, this one, work as associations to things that I want to recall or memorize. So, that's what a virtual memory palace is. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm going to take you through my apartment and show you how I utilize these memory associations to actually learn something that I'm able to remember in the future. So, as you see, I have different rooms and this works that I have actually calibrated my virtual apartment so that it is one-to-one -one in real-time scale to my physical apartment. So I can go between rooms like here and there, although that will have to be a surprise. And yeah, also inside here. So to start things off, we're going to go inside the main room, which is the living room. And first of all, you can see that I've numbered uh, the different objects around here. Now, these are associations to the periodic table, which you may know, although you probably don't remember it too well from school. So the first visual association here is the bottle of water, which of course represents hydrogen. And number two, the floating balloons acts as an association to helium. Now, number three here is a battery reminding me of the chemical element of lithium. Now, this not, may not be an actual lithium battery, but the association works nevertheless. And number four here, we're going a bit more abstract, but the straw berries remind me of beryllium. And here, in this painting over here, we have a goron representing the chemical element of boron. Now, a bit easier perhaps is the diamond, of course, representing carbon. And number seven here, we have nitroglycerin or dynamite representing nitrogen. Even easier in the corner, we have an oxygen tank representing oxygen. Now, number nine, of course, the giant toothpaste is representing fluorine. And the neon cat, which is the last element in this room, is representing the gas neon. Now, what I really enjoy about this is that I can walk around in a large space, my whole apartment, and I don't have to think about potentially hitting a wall or whatever. I can actually walk wherever I see inside the virtual so now being inside the kitchen, uh, we have a soda bottle, of course, reminding me of sodium, a magnet reminding me of magnesium, number 12, an aluminium can, uh, the beer reminding me of aluminium, and we have silicon representing the Arduino microchip uh, up there. Now, we also have some matches uh, representing phosphorus, uh, and we have the egg at the end there, representing sulfur, you know, the nasty smell. Going on to these, we have uh, this one, the detergent, representing chlorine. Maybe a bit far-fetched, but okay, it works. Now, this is actually HoloLens, which is an AR headset. And the AR is reminding me of argon. Uh, Almost last in this room, we have the banana, uh, representing potassium. Really good stuff, you should get some. Uh, and lastly, we have uh, the skeleton, of course, uh, working as an association to calcium. Now, going into the gaming or production room where the YouTube magic happens, we uh, see that we have a scanner inside here. And that reminds me of Scandium number 21. Now, number 22 here might be a little bit far out, but this is Atlas, who is holding the world, condemned by the gods, as represented in the artwork of civilization. In Greek mythology, however, Atlas was a titan, and so this reminds me of titanium. Here again, we have a van, perhaps not my best association, but this is representing vanadium, the 23rd chemical element in the periodic table. Now, at the TV here, uh, this was supposed to show an image of Google Chrome to remind me of Chromium. It didn't, but I still remembered it from when I programmed this in Unity, so I guess it kind of still works. At least it would have represented Chromium if I had managed to develop things properly. Um, here we have a magazine, a manga magazine, I hope or think, representing uh, manganese. 
and over here we have an iron representing iron, yeah, ironing device for um, ironing clothes. Here in the corner we have a cute little snake cobra representing uh, cobalt to me. And simple nickel, we have copper here in the um, copper distillery apparatus. And lastly a zinc representing zinc. So that's the first 30 elements in the periodic table, organized throughout my virtual and kind of real apartment. Now the only place we haven't been is the bedroom where I have the final surprise, which of course is super important to remember. And yeah, that is that if you enjoyed this, if you liked seeing how you can mix real and virtual environments to make something useful and interesting uh, that you can yeah, actually utilize to learn something new, then please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> we really need uh, more people to watch our content and to help us to grow so that we can create more of this. So if you can support us by liking and subscribing, then thank you so much. See you later.